I'm Anil Kumar. In this video on loci and construction, let us try to understand how to construct and bisect angles. We'll take up example and construct 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees angles, not with a protractor, with compass and a ruler, okay? Part C is interesting. We'll see an application of this particular exercise, which is very useful to find which side is closer or which points or set of points are closer to a given segment or a line. Okay. So to begin with, let me just sketch a line, right? And then we'll start from there. So this is a line to work with. Now we will construct angles taking this as our initial arm right so somewhere along this line we will write our initial arm as you know angles have two arms with a vertex now first exercise is how to construct 90 degrees angle so let us mark a point on which we should be constructing an angle of 90 degrees. So let this point be O for us. Okay. To construct 90 degrees angle, oh, there are many methods will follow. Uh, one which is most common. Right. So we'll also have an exercise where we'll construct right triangles with a different method. As you know, in any circle, if you make a triangle, you get 90 degrees. That's the concept. Okay. Now here, to get 90 degrees, we'll put our compass at O, open the arc, right, to some extent, mark it on the line. Correct? So we just mark it on the line, two points. That is what we get, those two points. So the points are, let us say, uh, P and Q. Now we have to place the compass at these points. The length should be longer than before. So we have increased the length, let's say this much, okay. And then we mark arcs above O. We are expecting 90 degrees right above O, right? So we get this. So once you cut it across, you get a point. Join this point with O. So what you get will be 90 degrees angle. So that is how you make 90 degrees at any given point. Is that okay? Perfect. Now let's label. So we have a point on this line. Let's call this as A. And another point here, we'll call this as B. So we'll say that the angle A OB is equal to 90 degrees. I, I hope you followed the steps. So we took a line and a point on the line, made an angle of 90 degrees by cutting same distance arc around O and then you saw how we got this point, right? So you open it further and mark arcs to cross at some point join it to make a perpendicular line is that clear so we got 90 degrees okay now if i bisect means what do we understand if i bisect this angle that means draw a line which will go exactly in between then we get an angle of 45 degrees. So half of 90 is 45 degrees. That is what we call bisecting an angle. Correct? So let us now see how to bisect. So we'll again take a compass, put it at O. We are going to bisect 90 degrees. Mark arcs to cut at these two given lines as shown. Increase the length of the arm. That's important, right? Increase the length of the arm and then mark somewhere in between 
two arcs, one from each, as shown here. Join that point. So this is the point now from O. If you join this point, then what you get is an angle of 45 degrees. Since so this ray produces an angle of 45 degrees with our initial arm OA, right? So what we get now here is that the angle AO, let me say this point is, is C. This angle is equal to 45 degrees, which is half of 90. So what we did is angle bisector. So that is called angle bisector. Okay. So that also means that every point on this line is same distance from these two lines. Okay. So at times when we work with segments, we say that Every point on this line is same distance from the segment OA and segment OB. Now, the question is, we're looking into application part, which is mark points closer to, let me write down here, mark set of points. That means locus. Mark set of points closer to segment OB then segment OA. So where are the points which are closer to segment OB than segment OA? Can you tell me that? So clearly this side is closer to OB, right? So all these points above the lines are closer. So, so all these points above the line are closer. So this is how you could mark it. Do you see that? Now, when you mark it, it should not touch this line. Another way is what we do. We just draw a dotted line here. Dotted line means not including. Do you see that? So if the exercise is this, that is, mark set of points closer to segment OB or loci, that is what it means, closer to OB than OA, then draw a dotted line on your angle bisector and mark everything above it. Do you see that? Like this. You could do like this. Shade it. Is it okay? If you're drawing these lines, they have to be extended up to this point. Do you get an idea, right? So, so I'm trying to mess it up now. Anyway, you get an idea. So all this region is closer to the segment OB than OA. Do not include the line because that is equidistant from both. Perfect. So we've done half the work. Now, let us see how to construct 60 degrees and 30 degrees. Well, concept of 60 degrees is equilateral triangle. That is the concept. Now keep that in mind and see how do we construct it. So what we do now here is that place the compass at A and just mark an arc like a circle, right? around it. You have to cross the line. Now with the same arc, what we are going to do is we can place it on one of these sides and mark another arc. So once you do that, so this time once you do this, you get 60 degrees. So if I now connect the point A I will get an angle which is 60 degrees. Okay, which is 60 degrees. So that is how you get 60 degrees angle. 
to get 30 degrees what are you supposed to do you are supposed to bisect this angle to get 30 degrees so let's do that part now so we'll bisect this angle to get 30 degrees so I'll just change the the ink of my pen and then we'll bisect that and create 30 degrees angle I like you to do this exercise on your own and check with comp uh, check with the protector the angles which you have made so open it more than half the distance between the two draw the arcs around the center right that is where you expect them to cross and join with a straight line the point A and the point where these arcs cut what you get is an angle of 30 degrees so what we did was we again constructed angle bisector and created 30 degrees so I hope the concept is clear so in this video we have learned how to construct angles especially 90 degrees 60 degrees 45 degrees and 30 degrees how to bisect them and also what do we understand by marking a region which is closer to one side than the other so i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thank you and all the best